It was only a couple months ago I was standing here worried that the XJ was going to be a total loss after the accident. But boy, how things have changed for the good. Doesn't she look great? We've got lots to talk about in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and on this episode, I'm really excited to share with you the transformation of my son and I's 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ that we have been working on for the last two years. We have grown so attached to this vehicle over that period of time, and after the recent rollover accident, we were really worried. We kind of thought that it might be a total loss and that we were gonna have to get rid of it. But the great news is we've had a lot of work done in the last few weeks and I'm excited here in this video to show you everything that we've done and talk about a few things that we've got in store here in the future. But first, my sons and I sat down and we talked and we were like, you know, she kind of needs a new name because she looks completely different. And for some of you older guys out there, you'll remember a show in the late 70s called The Bionic Woman. And in that show, there's a character and her name was Jamie Summers and she crashed in a skydiving accident and they put her back together using these bionic parts and made her stronger and faster than before. And we just kind of thought that, you know, the Bionic Woman had this amazing transformation and our Jeep XJ has had this amazing transformation and it was just kind of fitting to rename her Jamie. So guys, let me introduce you to Jamie. Now I just picked up Jamie from Ensenada, Mexico where all the body work was done like three nights ago. And last night I was sitting in the garage and I knew I was coming out here to film this and I was like, you know what? I need to install that light bar that's been sitting in the garage for the last couple months. This light bar here, this is the KC crossbar with the G46s was supposed to be mounted to Jamie two days after the crash and it's just been sitting in my garage the entire time. So last night, it was quick. It took me like 15 minutes to install this. I had to get it done. It looks so good. So let me tell you what we've got here. So these are the powder coated JCR rain gutter mounts that are specific for the XJ. And then in between, I've got the 50 inch KC crossbar. And then on top are six G46 LED lights and this thing is so awesome. Now this crossbar, you can buy it just by itself and you can pick and choose what lights you want on there. And it's a really cool concept. You know, if you only wanna mount two lights or you wanna mount six lights, you can mount round lights. You know, you can choose different beam patterns. Gives you a lot of versatility on what you wanna mount up there, which is really nice. You're not kinda of stuck to the standard light bar that gives you, you know, X beam patterns and X brightness. You can pick and choose what you want up there. And I love the way these G46s look. Uh, it just goes well with kind of the boxy style of the XJ. We'll be doing a night run and testing these out here real soon, but if you want more information, I'll leave a link in the description. Go check it out. This is a really cool light bar. It gives the XJ such a nice look. Now let's talk about Jamie's transformation over the last several weeks. Now the first thing I did after the rollover accident was take her to a auto body shop because I needed to know if the unibody was still square and the good news was yes, the unibody was perfectly straight which means there was hope for Jamie. Now there was some extensive body damage. The hood, the roof, the door, the fenders, they were a wreck, literally. And it was going to be over $4,000 just to get those repaired here in San Diego, which was way out of our budget. So my good friend Marco, who you've seen here on the channel before, has a friend of a friend who knew of a one-man auto body shop down in Mexico who does great work. And so that's what we did. We took Jamie down to Mexico and we left her there for the last four weeks and he did a really great job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the camera here off the tripod, I'm gonna walk around and show you some before and now some of the after clips of what we have done. Pretty cool guys, I think you're gonna dig this. So the first thing we should talk about is the color. So originally the XJ was blue, but we decided we wanted a complete color change and went with this chili pepper red, which actually was a original color that was available for a 99 XJ. And we just like the way it pops. It looks really good. Now this is not a $5,000 show quality paint job. This was done down in Mexico in a guy that didn't have a whole lot of technology. So there's a few imperfections, a little bit of overspray, but you know what? 
but he did a lot of little detailed work and he you know, did wet sanding and polished it, so it looks really, really clean. Very happy with how it turned out. All right, let's move over to the front here, and I'll show you the body work that's been done. Now, after the accident, the hood was really mangled up. There was a few dents up here, but then this whole side of the hood was just a mess. And my son and I actually thought we would be clever and try some of that paintless dent removal stuff where you pop dents out. And we played around with that for a little bit and we were actually able to get some of the smaller dents out, but getting the big dents out, you really just need to leave that to the professionals. And you know, this is such a flat surface that you don't want any imperfections in there. It turned out really, really good. I'm very happy with the way the hood looks. We didn't have to replace it. This is all body work that he did. So the fender after the accident had a huge crease in it. It really just looked a mess. So instead of having the labor done, what we did was we just purchased a new fender because these are really actually pretty cheap. And he installed this, painted it, and you'll see that he filled in all the holes where the bolts originally go. So it really has this nice, clean, naked look. There's no fender flares. We're kind of getting attached to the way it looks. I don't know if we'll add fender flares later or not, but we'll see. Uh, also, additionally, what he did is he took the time and he did a black undercoating under here, so it looks a lot better. That wasn't even something we discussed originally. He just went ahead and did that himself. So very happy with that. The fenders, they just look really clean. I don't know, what do you think, guys? Fender flares or go naked? Now before, this section of the door was mangled pretty good and it was actually hitting the fender every time you would open the door and the body lines were all messed up, but he did a great job of cleaning this up and getting all the body lines squared away. It opens perfectly now, no issues. And what I really like is when you open the door, check this out, he painted everything. It's all red, it's a, you can't even tell that it was blue. And he, all the way back there, he pulled the interior and made sure Everything that needed to be red is red. He did a great job. He also installed a new door catch for us. It didn't even charge me for that. And he said, just send me a new door catch. I'll install it when I'm doing all this body work. So very happy to have that door catch back there. You know, that door would just fling right open if you parked on a hill or something. Now we don't have that issue. Now, if you take a look down at the side of the Jeep, it just looks perfectly straight. You know, she had plenty of bumps and bruises all the way down here, not even from the accident, just originally. But a lot of the work that he did was right here on the roof. If you remember before, this was really just sunken in, really wavy, a lot of large dents. The rain gutter was tucked down. You couldn't even you know, open and close the door. That's all straight now. And he did a lot of work. And he said the best way to repair this would have been to just actually cut it and reskin it with a new roof. But he did all the labor himself. And also what he did is, you remember we had a roof rack up here? He filled in all those holes. So it's completely smooth up there now. Now we may get a roof rack eventually, but I think it'll be a rain gutter style mounted one. So we love the way that this turned out. He did an awesome job. So one of the other issues we were having was when we would open the hatch, it was totally misaligned and it was chewing up the roof. And so he got everything realigned fix the roof a little bit. There's still a little bit of a waviness there, but the door works perfectly, doesn't rub, all the lines are good, just awesome. I mean, the whole Jeep just looks so much better, so clean, and we paid a fraction of what we would have paid to have the body work and the paint done here in the US. He did a great job. And you know, sure, there's a couple little imperfections and there's some overspray that we're gonna clean up, but at the end of the day, this is an off-road vehicle. We want it to look good, but we're still gonna go get it scratched up here and there, and so we're not really too stressed about it. I don't think we could have asked for a better outcome than this. I honestly could not be happier with the way Jamie is looking right now. So look, uh, there's quite a few things that we've got planned. In the immediate future, we're gonna be doing some rock rails, uh, some exhaust work, and then we've got a few other things that we need to just kind of dial in. But we've got a long list of stuff that we're gonna be doing to the XJ over the very near future. But most importantly, we're gonna get her out on the trail and get her dirty because that's what we're building her for. Look, if you like XJs and you'd like to see some work that we've done on the past, I'm gonna leave a couple videos here, guys. Go check those out. Lots more XJ videos to come. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Please remember to travel the trails responsibly. Thanks for watching.